grade again and kind of go one by one here. Oh, he's so terrible. He's... Grade or grade again, Jimmy Kimmel? Well, he's he's not, you know, he's not. First of all, they all have bad ratings. The one that's the most <laughs> successful is Greg. Is who? Greg, Greg Gutfeld. So he's, Jimmy Kimmel, we got to make him great well, again. Well, Jimmy Kimmel's a loser. I, look, <laughs> we would we would do Jimmy Kimmel. I do Jimmy Kimmel. I did him a lot. Yeah. He used to greet me on the sidewalk outside of his studio. I'd come in. This was before politics, of course. But I'd come in, and he'd be standing on the sidewalk. Oh, sir, may I bring you in? He'd bring me in every time. And then I ran for politics. I never, you know, got involved with him much. But. Uh, Switch up. All they do is talk bad about Trump. That's all. The whole show is talking bad about Trump. Yeah. He's he's. They're all equally bad. Uh, but we'll go through the fact. The, the view. Year. I know them. So Whoopi's a filthy, filthy mouth on her. I went to. I've hired Whoopi over the years. You know, at hotels that I own. We hired her once, and I went. She was so filthy, disgusting, dirty with her mouth that I. The whole group left. There was nobody watching her. She was a comedian, and you know what? Nobody knows this. She said, I admire you so much. Would you do me a favor, Wood? Would you do a cameo in a movie I'm making? I did a cameo in some crummy movie she made. Um, and then I run for politics. Uh, Joy is, you know, she thought the world was flat. You saw that, right? She's Joy is dumb. <laughs> the other one worked for me. She wrote a letter. One of them, I don't know, whatever her name is. She worked for me in the White House. She writes a letter. This was the greatest experience. You're the greatest president. I love you. You're the greatest president. There's nobody. We have the letter someplace. It's a letter that she wrote when she left the White House. Then all of a sudden they hire her and she goes negative. Okay. You know, they said, hey, we'll give you a lot of money if you go negative, whatever her name is. Uh, let's see. The other two I didn't know. Oh, this guy I know. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. Fallon. I I'm telling you, I hate to use, but they're all losers they're all lightweights so. though <laughs> this guy so i'm on a show before politics many times but him and, and before him it it makes you realize how G how great johnny carson was actually <laughs> that's the only thing because there's nothing to watch their ratings are horrible they're cutting him back to four days which is can you imagine cutting johnny carson back to four days that didn't happen but johnny carson i grew up with him and others that were very talented these people so jimmy fallon asks me if he could do one thing could he play with my hair and i said what do you want to do that for i want to see if it's real it is real but if you have to do it you can do it so he didn't just play he puts his hand in my hair and he went crazy and the audience went wild and they loved it and that was the end of that and it played and he got very high ratings on the show Six months later, he stood up. He was, he was the radical left went after him because they humanized me. And six months later, they he goes up, he goes up on the show, and he said, "I'd like to apologize for doing that. I didn't realize I was going to humanize." He was a nice guy, and he was doing badly, but he was now he's doing much worse. <laughs> he lost his whole audience when he did that. You know, another loser is Howard Stern. When he's he, on that list, yeah. We'll when he up. when he left me, because I dropped him, I didn't want to do a show anymore. Howard Stern, when because he was considering Hillary, he's not for Hillary. He's not for Hillary, but he wanted to be politically correct or something. Didn't work out too well. His show's practically dead. I think I don't know. I mean, I I haven't heard his name in years. But now he did an interview with her. It was so so sad. He's like asking her all these easy questions. Like written out, oh, and what do you think about this? And what do you think about that? And it was it's just a different guy. I used to do a show. I had numerous of his top ten shows ever. You know, they had a top ten list. Right. Today I understand they disbanded the list because I was on it so much. <laughs> Greg Gutfeld is great. Greg Gutfeld didn't like me when he first started. He just didn't like me. And then I had to cut this I short. Watch. It was a beautiful thing. He said, you know, I don't like him. But he said he was going to knock out ISIS, and he did. He said he was going to have a strong border, and he did. He said employment, everything was good. He said, I'm starting to like him. Then, then, a little more time goes by. He said, well, am I better off liking somebody who's incompetent or not liking somebody? And everything he does works out great.